brother, what have I become? In the morning I'll be with you, and if not, then in the morning I'll be gone. Hey everyone, this week we are traveling through Mahia, and if you've followed us for a while, you know I have post-traumatic stress from smelling hot, smoky breaks, and that's what we're just about to experience. Alright, so we are just about to go down probably the steepest we've been down, 11% grade, it's a bit of a warning for truck drivers. <sighs> What's going to be more thrilling, watching Mike's concentration face or watching the road? I need to turn the music off so I can see better. <laughs> so there was plenty of warning about the steepness of this hill and needing to check your brakes before you go down. It was a couple of kilometers and windy and you needed to go slow, which I was trying to do. Oh yeah, I can smell brakes. Yep, she's smelling hot. Smell of brakes is not Mike's favorite. <laughs> not Mike's favorite smell. Yeah, it's not the caravan brakes that smell out, it's the truck brakes. I'm wondering if the caravan brakes are working properly. For some reason the truck brakes were burning hot and the caravan, well you could still touch the rims on the wheels. At this point we're about 15 minutes away from Mahia, so we let the brakes cool down and drive slowly and carefully on our way. Alright team, this is home for the next few days. The Mahia Peninsula. I'm still stressed about the tyres and the brakes. Oh my gosh, but look at this. So Mahia is the home of Rocket Lab, great beaches, diving and fishing. And we were staying at Opotama Freedom Campsite, which you'll get to explore with us. And our brakes, well, I don't think they have actually ever worked properly. We called Kevin from Waitai who helped immensely and after a recalibration, we had full brakes which needed to be toned down a whole lot, which definitely helped my post-traumatic stress. And hopefully we'll have no further issues, yay. Hey, so I just wanted to give a bit more of an explanation to what was happening with our brakes. So we have the Waitai brake controller in our caravan. It's got some pretty fancy technology in there like downhill automatic assist. But for all of that to be working properly, you're supposed to have your vehicle and the caravan calibrated together, which never happened when we picked up our caravan. I don't think any of us knew this when we uh, were first going into it. So it must have been calibrated either on the jockey wheel or hooked up to another vehicle. So we've been towing around and the truck has been doing all of the braking. Now it has a manual override if I push this button which also lets me dial around the intensity of the braking. So when we've gone down big hills like in the Coromandel, I've often like just pushed this thinking, oh this, is, this feels like it's helping out the truck a little bit. Um, but I didn't do that when we were in Gisborne because I started to smell hot brakes and I figured it was the caravan brakes and I didn't want to put more pressure on them by pushing this button. So I just let the truck kind of do all of the work, which was doing all of the work anyway, which is why when we got to the bottom of the hill, we had smoky tr truck brakes and the caravan tires, wheels weren't even hot at all. So we talked to Kevin from Waitai and he sent us through some uh, tests that we should do and the information to do a recalibration. So Sophie, she's the, uh, the brains of the family. So she read through all of that, did the recalibration test and boom, now we have fully functional brakes and that was really good because we had a lot of more, a lot more big hills to go over as we headed towards an apia, which you will see later in this episode. Anyway. That's a little bit about, a little bit more info about what was happening. Recalibration, worked a treat. All right, so back to Mahi now. We just de-stressed and enjoyed a nice quiet afternoon in this new location. It was Sunday afternoon, so everyone was kind of clearing out, which was really nice. Mate, look at this day.
We love how dark it stays in the caravan. Man, we have some pretty good sleepings in there. But it was time for a coffee and for our day to begin. And man, did we have an awesome spot to sit up to enjoy it. Okay, everyone, so we're heading off to go explore this area. There's heaps of cool places for fishing, apparently some diving. We'll go and uh, see what we can see out on this coast. So our first little stop was Mahanga Beach, which was about seven kilometers away from where we were camping. So nice here. We're like, let's come and spend the day here tomorrow. So you'll see more of this in a couple of minutes. This whole coastline is filled with awesome places to fish from and explore. This is a uh, snapper rock, so I'm gonna go throw my lure out. I don't have any bait. See if we can catch some bait at least. At least. The kids just loved climbing and exploring and looking into the water and all the little rock pools on these cool rocks. Man, what primo fishing rocks these are, eh? No luck on the fishing front. We'll go see what the kids are up to, eh? The clouds kind of rolled on in, which made us not really that brave to go and hop in the water. The water temperature was only about 14 degrees Celsius, but Mahia actually has a pretty good store and it even has like a tavern with a restaurant in it. Good map to be able to see what there is to do around the place. And if you want to get to Rocket Lab, well that's all private access, you can't quite make it that far down the peninsula. Got these cool, cool, juicy ice blocks and they look good. Because they have all the colours. Mm. So good. That evening we had some new friends turn up that we got to meet and we enjoyed a nice little campfire down by the beach. The next morning we packed up the caravan mostly because we wanted to test the brakes out. Right, we packed up the caravan and we've come over to Mahanga Beach for the day. It just looks really nice. Gonna do some drone fishing. Hopefully Jade will do some surfing. And what are you gonna do, Toby? All right. Ready to go catch some waves, Jade? No. What? No. Whatever. Man, some people are funny, eh? Put my fishing rod here and this lady came over with her surfboard to me saying, um, since you're here, where am I supposed to go surfing? That's where all the waves are. Um, <laughs> I think there's plenty of waves out there. All along that beach. Keep smiling at me And my heart's like, ooh, how'd you like to spin around with me? There it comes! caravan here at the beach we are going to head back and see what the state of for the free camp is see if we can find somewhere to park the caravan
These are our friends that we've made at this uh, free campsite. Uh, we've had some good yarns for sure. Haven't we, Tame? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. And what a wonderful <laughs> family you've got, and thank you for including us. Because yes, it really you. is appreciated. Yeah, no, you're real yeah. Oh, listen to that, eh? Listen to all these kind words. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a beautiful day. We've done some fishing, we've eaten some snacks, and we're just having a few cold beverages, enjoying this beautiful spot. Yep. Yep, we are. It's been thundering, but we've been safe from the rain so far, but for how much longer? We've just had everything, haven't we, on this trip? So our friend Sue here, she's got this uh, Murphy's Law, so whenever it's forecasted to rain, she puts her tap on her awning here, so it runs straight into her water tank, and, um, it never rains because that would mean she would actually get some water in her tank. So we've actually missed this storm, so history actually repeats. Yes, we've got does. soda tank. It does. The hose means no rain. <laughs> so we've made this hut over there. Um, it's at the other side across the creek, so we're going to go show you it. Bye, see you soon. So we've got like the lounge in here. That's Toby's stuff, that's his pillow. That's my pillow. Then Jade's room in there, that's her pillow. And we made a roof up there. What and we made on? that over there. And we haven't finished that roof. It's a pretty small hut, but it's like next to a creek and there's a wood pile that you can explore and the beach is right there what and the river is right there but the river is quite dirty it was just another magical evening to hang out down by the water did a little bit of fishing and the kids got a little bit of wrestling on No pauses, go Riley. Oh, ah! 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 Not sure how serious I should take all this. They were just arguing and crying at each other before. And now look at them, goodness. Mahia is definitely a really cool place to come freedom camping, but it's uh, it's really far far away from everywhere. You know, it's a good two and a half hours I think to Napier. Gisborne's an hour away, and from Gisborne, wow, got miles to go. But we're heading off now. We'll be at Lake Tutera. Should be a good drive over the Mohaka River. So Lake Tutera is about 40 minutes drive north of Napier. And it's a big lake. I've never camped here before, but we were pleasantly surprised. There's lots of really cool walks up in the hills that you can do too, if that's your thing. Hey, so we have made it to Lake Tutera, which is probably about 40 kilometers from Napier. A uh, bit of grouchiness with the kids on the way down here who were getting a little bit annoying with their noises and tickling and touching one another. But we're the only people here. But yeah, so far we have this place entirely to ourselves, which will be the first night we've camped completely alone if no one else turns up. It's not even three o'clock yet, so chances are someone will arrive. But look, there's our view. The grass has been freshly mowing here, so I'm going to imagine we're going to be battling keeping that out of the caravan while we're here. Getting ready for summer, right? it's nearly December. There's quite a lot of walks that you can do here, but these hills look... Um, they look pretty serious. Those hills definitely were pretty big to climb and very, very long grass at the tops. Someone had gone to some of the old tree stumps with a chainsaw and done some pretty cool carvings. So Riley went around with the GoPro and picked her five favorite ones. Definitely some pretty cool, talented people out there. 
So we were supposed to meet um, our friends from Ma here at this campground and there's a reason why they didn't stay. Let's show you. If I've got to put up with a bit of wind to have a whole campground to myself, for $5 a night, I think I'll definitely take it. It's nice, uh, I love solitude. Love going out running, being by myself. I also do love hanging out with people though. But yeah, bit of good balance. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have blue skies and low wind or no wind. What are you playing? Well, who's winning? Mum. She's got Rain one. Started. Hit. <laughs> huh? She, uh, she's winning. Only just. We only just yeah. started. Yep, and for to the dinner tonight, we're having some nachos. So we've got some vegetarian nachos and some meat nachos going on here. So we're making enough here to go for two dinners. So that way we don't have to worry about what to cook tomorrow. So I think tonight we'll have nachos and tomorrow we'll have quesadillas. When they're all dished up, it's actually hard to tell which is the vegetarian one. Can you tell? Not that one. Not, not you, Toby, the people watching. Ooh, which one is it? Easy. Nachos on top. Nachos on top. Yeah, it's easy. The next day there was still plenty of wind around but we would get enough breaks from it that I got some time to put the drone up. And this place does look stunning by ear, it's definitely a very beautiful place. And for our friends, the Jefferies watching in America, finally a bit of inland camping eh? A bit of inland, no more coast right here. So I went for a bit of a run this morning, uh, it was very very hard, the grass was like up to here long in some places. The kids are keen to try and get up this hill, Jade's a little bit worried, we'll find out what she's worried about. What are you worried about? Nothing. This is what Jade's worried about, which is the same thing I'm worried about. I don't How? Like them. Seriously, they're such wusses. What if they get you? I'm not going in dead. He might charge you. I don't want to go. Yeah. Me and Jade refuse to go until these cows move. But good old Riley, our animal lover, was forging ahead and clearing the path for us. I don't like the ones with horns. Right, me and Jade will go together since we're both scared. I don't like the ones with horns. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> That's where we need to get to. They keep moving to where we need to go. The cows in these paddocks like to stay together in big groups. This was probably group number five of the cows. <laughs> okay, we lost the cows. Good, we got rid of them. But it wasn't going to be long till we were going to come across a group of cows that didn't want to move away. In fact, they walked towards us. Oh no, we've reached more cows. Cows are cool. I like cows. There's a one horn. These cows have played our bluff and they've like walked towards us as we've gone through. So um uh, we're not keen. Riley is, but not not the rest of us. I'm not really So it was time to head back down towards the caravan. Still a good view from as far as we got to though. So I guess that's one of the things you've got to suck up when you come out here as a, as a working farm. So it's five dollars a night, but there's big cows in the paddocks. Not where we're camping, but you know, if you want to go on some of these hikes. <laughs> All right, friends, well, hopefully you have enjoyed Mahia and Tutera. Uh, we're actually going to see some family. I've got a week of work ahead of me, and we are 
going to be spending the next kind of time between now and Christmas uh, in central Hawke's Bay going out to some of the remote beaches out there. Definitely looking forward to that. Uh, and I guess we'll get back to real time on the video. Any thoughts, so? Uh, it's windy here. Sure is. Is that why you're hiding behind the caravan? I'm hiding yeah. behind the caravan because that is what's going on. <laughs> Awesome guys, well if you're new here and you've made it this far, thank you for watching our video. Feel free to subscribe or check out a couple more other videos, but otherwise we will see you in the next episode. See ya!